Lee was 24 when he was killed. Tupac was 25. Kids, man. All these months later, and you don't even have a suspect. I played Detective Greg Kading, who was a detective for the, for the LAPD and was in charge of a, a, a Torres task force would happen, that, that happened just prior to this, which is why they brought him on for this case in 2006. Uh, he convinced them to bring on another task force from the FBI, the Sheriff's Department, from uh, ATF, all different, all different, to have as many resources as they could. And also so that it wasn't just the LAPD investigating this just to clear their own name. He wanted it to be for real. And so that's, that's really what he did. And he spent, you know, he spent several years uh, working endlessly to try to, to figure it out. I'm about my company now. My legacy, my music. Been doing this for eons. Playing him this time, I get a chance to really pull the layers back mm -hmm. and really get a chance to see who he was as a person and his passion, um, the books he read, how to how to be a general, you know. I had his older brother, Moprim Shakur, who was on set with us day in and day out and just making sure that the authenticity of who his brother was remained the same and, um, you know, Again, in the script, we was able to see that they were friends, and I think that's such a powerful message to send yeah. when you when you hear of a Tupac and a Biggie Smalls, you you usually or Christopher Wallace, you you hear people just resemble the East Coast West Coast beef or mention that, and I think it's so much more than that. We're pulling me onto another task force. I want you to join me. What's the case? Biggie Smalls. I relate it to the People versus OJ in a lot of ways. So we think we know so much about what actually happened, but this is an opportunity to go behind the curtains, behind the closed doors and see what really happened, what these relationships were really like, what these deaths actually meant to the families, to the friends, to the industry, and to the police that were investigating it. Yo, what I tell you when we was getting started, huh? On top of the world, baby. Well, that legacy is very strong. We still have a lot of people that, that a morning from this here story, and mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's immortalized in hip hop forever. Like they, they have sculptures, they have, uh, there's a bunch of things yeah. that Tupac and Biggie because they were so great to hip hop, and what happened to them was a tragedy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a lot that we have to do to make sure that things like that don't happen anymore, and we learn a good stride from Biggie and Tupac. And by telling this story, we hope that it will bring closure to those, their loved ones, their fans, to those around them, and, Absolutely. you know, just so they can understand what went down behind the scenes at that time. This case is legendary.